We're on the road with Mickey, we're gonna have some fun. Regardless of the rain or sun, our trip has just begun. So buckle up, let's go, we're about to start the show. And maybe if you like us, you'll see where else we'll go. Hey everyone, I'm Mike. And she's Sophie. And she's Brenda. Hi everyone. And he's Grogu. Woohoo! Grogu in the house. Whoop, <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> and we are on the road with Mickey. We are full of hilarity, jocularity, <laughs> and who knows what else. But this is episode 218 for May 6, 2024. And our feature topic is, and this might be a feature topic every week depending on who you ask but where in the world is mike <laughs> <laughs> you know sometimes he doesn't even know but we'll see if we can figure it out for the what, most part i have an idea okay but anyway we'll get into what that means in just a little bit but first, we have some cheddar from the big cheese. And Sophie, you start us off with some really primo cheddar. All it's right all then. Good cheddar this week, actually. Well, unlike our usual Disney grade of cheddar, this one is coming from the other park in Orlando, Universal Studios, and coming June 14th. An incredible new projection show set against the majestic backdrop of Hogwarts Castle will take guests on a journey through iconic moments of a year at the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Debuting in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, obviously, Hogsmeade on select nights. Yep, starting on June 14th. It mm -hmm. looks really pretty. We get and to see it. I do not. I am not going to Universal on my next trip. We get to see it. Oh, you two do. I do not. For those oh, of you who sorry. are wondering, I'm going to be at Disney about two weeks before my dad and Aunt Brenda are going to Disney and Universal. You're I'm going, going Universal. for my birthday. And, well, yeah, you're going to Universal. Oh. Aunt Brenda's going to Disney. Yeah, and yeah. I might yeah. spend a day at Disney, too. Yeah. Use my, use my free ticket. We'll talk offline, Brenda. Let's figure Yay. this out. Because mm -hmm. I, I I need some homies to walk with me, you know. That's right. Yes. That's right. But anyway, so yes, Aunt Brenda and my dad will see it. I will not, and that's all I have to say. I'm going to hand it over to Aunt Brenda now. All right. Well, there's kind of cool news actually. Walt Disney World's Victoria and Albert's restaurant made history last month when it was awarded a Michelin star. <gasps> Damn. I mean, what an accomplishment. Victoria and Albert. Wow. Yep, ahead, it's Beth. located uh, inside Disney's Grand Floridian Resort, and it's been at the top of my bucket list for a long time, but I still haven't gone. The fine dining destination is the first and only restaurant owned and operated by a U.S. theme park to hold this prestigious honor. We would love to congratulate Chef de Cuisine Matthew Sowers and pastry chef Ali Rogers and all the wonderful staff for this well-deserved recognition of excellence. Congratulations. Yay. Way to go, guys. What a... You're right. Bravo. That is that is incredible. And that is like its own mic drop right there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Wow. That is wow. impressive. Good job. Congratulations. I haven't been there either. It's on my list too, Brenda. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. Well, maybe not this year, but one day I'll get Cindy there. Um, December 20th, 2024, mark your calendars. Theaters around the world will be airing the premiere of Mufasa, The Lion King, which opens in theaters on that day. Ooh. I can't wait to see it. And there's a trailer in the show notes. Um, on YouTube, and it is absolutely incredible. It is the story, Sophie, of Mufasa. It's like a prequel. It's a prequel. It's yeah. entirely a prequel. Oh, and I, I'm I love just the graphic. Just the, the graphic they've come up with where he's 
little and looking in the mm-hmm. water at what he'll be. It's awesome. It is incredible. Really. So wow. check it out. And that is that is really cool cheddar too. But hey. that is our cheddar from the big cheese. We don't have any listener feedback because it was a recap show, so there was no question to ask. But um maybe we'll see if we can get some of the listeners to play along and post their own pictures in the group um based on our feature topic this week. What cool. do you think? Yeah, that'd I be fun. I think we should do that. All right. Well, Anyway, feature topic this week is where in the world is Mike? And this is a completely made up episode. It has nothing to do for us except for <laughs> me. But the but the the stars of the show, Brenda and Sophie and Grogu, will be working to try and figure out where these pictures were taken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen. And I'm going to share the first photo. I want to make sure I've got it popped up right. And I think these are going to be pretty easy for 99% of us. Um, and we'll just see. But um, And I'm going to describe it a little bit for the, um, for the audio only listeners. And I'm going to encourage you, if you have a moment, go to YouTube. And check out On the Road with Mickey. Search for it on YouTube and find our channel and subscribe and like. And you'll be able to see this. And then you'll be able to see the images as well. And see how goofy Mike looks and how awesome Sophie and Brenda look. (laughs) Well, I click on that bell so you know every time an episode goes up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. Here we go. I'm going to describe it. And then the... The ladies are going to give just a few seconds before they answer, and um, and we're going to go from there. So here we go. Okay. Sharing. And can you see my screen? I can, and I am very, very glad to see the photo on it because I was worried that mine are going to be too obscure, so, but they are exactly like that. Okay. So this is a tan background Mm -hmm. with some autumn colors and it looks like leaves and they are drawn they are drawn any guesses brenda you have a guess no (laughs) sophie do you have a guess so it looks to me like the sort of art style they use in the Winnie the Pooh ride. That is exactly what Yay! it is. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so the first I picture. I was pulling that out of somewhere, Daddy. Your I head. had no idea. <laughs> well, I will let you know that. Cindy has seen these and this is the one she got the rest of them. She was so confused on them that she didn't get them, but Mm. Cindy's my soul sister. (laughs) So hopefully these aren't going to be that hard. I didn't think they were going to be hard. (laughs) They won't be for Sophie. I'm rocking with Sophie, man. She, I don't care what team I'd be forming. Sophie would be on it. (laughs) Aw, thank you. (laughs) Sophie is the first draft pick. Is that what you're saying, Brenda? Yes, that's right. (laughs) Blame my dad. He raised me this way. Meanwhile, I was always the last draft pick. Sophie, will you update the notes on what the picture is? Yes, Daddy. Thank you. Which maybe we shouldn't because then people might see that in the notes on the audio. And then they might not be able to guess. I don't know. I, don't I have an idea of how to make it work. Okay. Anyway, time for the second photo. There's 10 of these, by the way. So okay. this one I think might be harder. Um, it is turquoise with some blacks. It's dark. It's kind of kind of wishy-washy a little bit. Now and see. And it's really kind of obscure as to what this is. Any guesses, anyone? 
I am specifically not saying anything just yet because I know exactly where that is. <laughs> okay. Is it in the Little Mermaid ride? It's not the Little Mermaid, but you're close. Very Nemo? close. Very good. What'd you say, Nemo? Nemo. It is Nemo. It is the Yay, Q area. There's my one. I have contributed to this podcast. Woohoo! You did great. Spread the rocks it as always. <laughs> that is in the Q line for finding for finding Nemo for this, the seas with Nemo and friends. They are so great at drawing you in before you ever even get to the the attraction. I know because you're not underwater, but you feel like you're underwater. Yeah. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. really great at making cues. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. You ready for the third one? Ready. Okay. Ready. This is a bench with leaves behind it, concrete underneath, and some natural area. It's a wooden bench. A wooden bench. Thank you, Sophie. You're as good at this as I am. Hmm. It's a long rectangular wooden bench. Uh-huh. A place to sit. And this one might be hard. Was this one taken from our most recent trip, Daddy? Yes, it was. Okay. Any guesses? Uh is it somewhere by the Moana attraction? Yes, it is. It's actually part of the walk area in the Moana attraction. Oh, wow. It's yeah. Easy. Wow. Mm hmm. And the, my whole idea was the leaves would, would kind of be a hint. Yeah. I agree totally. Because we didn't yeah. go to Animal Kingdom this trip. And if it had been an Animal Kingdom, then there's no way we would have guessed. Sophie, did you know that? I figured it had to be somewhere in the Moana attraction, but I wanted to take my time. Yeah. It's so lush over there. I mean, there's just so mm -hmm. much greenery and it's just it's just lush. I mean, yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Here is number 4. This is a metallic image with curvy sort of swooshes and something in the middle it looks like points on a compass in a way and dotted lines and this one is you can tell that you don't see the full image you only see part of the image the dotted line lines look kind of like a road Exactly. Yeah. Any guesses? Is that in front of Test Track? No, it is not. No? No. Wow. The dotted lines would make you think it's Test Track. It would, for sure. But it's not Test Track. And this symbol might surprise you as to what it is, because it, I mean, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't feel like the attraction it's by but it is by an attraction that's weird is it by soren no is it by the tomorrowland speedway no you want me to tell you is it by tron no i'm trying to think of what has a road what else sophie has i think the road analogy is a red herring oh hmm Okay, well, let's think. What has a compass or going different? Could it be a shooter game? It's not. <gasps> oh, it's not Buzz Lightyear Day. I thought no. that was. This one's tough, huh? It is. Yeah. yeah. I'm You're going to kick yourself, Sophie. Is it Mission Space? No. What is it? It is Spaceship Earth. It is the oh logo right by the where you go into the geodesic what? dome and it has all the writing and it says Spaceship Earth. That is the logo and that is there. Why... And the swooshes is like you're in the galaxy, you know, space. 
Oh my um, gosh. And I guess wow. the dotted line, I guess, is to symbolize you going on the track, you huh. know, navigating through and in. I don't know. It, it's it's an odd one, that is for sure. But that is at Spaceship Earth. That's and I'm surprising. I'm that that's why, that's why you didn't show the whole thing, because it has Spaceship Earth right there <laughs> right. next to it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's why I cropped it down. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That one was a tough one. Wow. That Yay, was, Mike wins. I got one. That's one. all that matters. <laughs> now, this next one might be really hard for Sophie because this is part of a boat and it is kind of like um kind of like cartoonish kind of like grayscale a little bit and if I were to back the whole image out you would see the rest of the boat and it might give it away for Brenda Brenda may know this, but Sophie, I don't think, has ever seen this, Brenda. I may not have, but I can certainly guess. Of course you can. It's a night show. It's a night show, yes, you're right. And the image quality is a little lacking because of me zooming it in and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Is it a night show at Hollywood Studios? It might be. I'm going to guess it's from Fantasmic. It is Fantasmic. Yeah. You right. guys got it. See, Good Sophie job, has Sophie. never seen Sophie's never seen no. Fantasmic at Hollywood Studios, Brenda. Oh, okay. never. And I've only seen it the one time, and that was on the Fam last year. And oh, that's wow. when I took this picture. Looks oh, good. Hey, now. This might be hard, this next one. And the reason it might be hard is because all it is is a bunch of food. And so picking, oh, we love out, <laughs> picking out where it is might be the hard part. But maybe not. What do you see? You've got French toast. You've got bacon. You've got some powdered sugar on the French toast. you got a glass of orange juice. You've got a whole bunch of other things, which indicates that you're at a table with other people, which might give you an idea as to what kind of location it might be for you to have this food. Is it a quick service? Is it a table service? It's a very, it's a ceramic plate, you know, it's like Mm -hmm. a, like a dinner plate. So it's not like a paper plate you would get at a quick service or something like that. It's all white porcelain Uh uh-huh and the table is dark it's a dark wood and there is butter to the side and there's other little containers with different things in them um so and what are you thinking Sophie? it's a place that we have all been Hmm. Hmm. Any, any thoughts sophie So it's obviously a breakfast reservation. Yes, it is. Does it have characters? No, it does not. Mm. So it's not Ohana. Is that what you were thinking? I was thinking maybe Topolino's. Ah. Mm -mm. We've never been to Topolino's. We've never been to Topolino's for breakfast, only for dinner. Have Have you been to Kona Cafe for breakfast? Yes, we have. That hesitation makes me think that Aunt Brenda got it. <laughs> she sure did. That is <laughs> Kona Cafe. And that is not the Tonga Toast. That's just the French Toast. That's the French Toast. I've I love forgotten the that toast. Kona Cafe served regular French Toast. Oh, yeah. And that was really good French Toast. I am oh, Tonga that Toast. Was really good. Oh, that was thank on you, the... Aunt Brenda, because I was stumped. That was oh, on you're welcome. Street. Yay trip as well nice all right so next picture this one is very hard because it's a lot of blue and a lot of black and some green and absolutely zero idea it looks like there's some steps and looks like there's some 
visual equipment up above you. Um, ah. But I don't know if it's enough to figure out what it is. It's a very royal type blue, right, Sophie? It is, but what what sticks out to me the most is that there is sort of a fencing along the back of the steps. Yes, there is. And it looks like roses almost. It does look like roses. I don't know if it's meant to be roses. I don't think it is. However, there's only one place that I can think of that has something like that with the fences along the back. And that makes me think those steps are not just steps, but actually stands for a choir to stand on. And do what? And sing the candlelight processional. That's right. Bing, Yay! bing, 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 bing. That Yay, is taken. And it's a crop, obviously, because if I were to expand it, you would see the choir in the middle shaped like a Christmas tree. Nice. <laughs> Very good, Sophie. Thank yeah. you. Did you have any idea, Brenda? Uh, yeah, I had a wrong idea. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I well, you guys thought great. I was sitting in the audience of the Finding Nemo show at Animal Kingdom, looking oh. at the, the deep blue. That, oh. I guess I have Finding Nemo on the mind since on the brain. Since Ooh, Ooh, is getting ready to be in it good, this week. But that's a good guess, though. That is a very good guess. Thank you. I was wrong though. What can it's you? It's a wrong guess, but a good guess nonetheless. I'm so thankful mm -hmm. I have Sophie. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Okay, next picture is of a glass with something in it. And Sophie's going to get this right <laughs> away, I'll bet. I'm specifically saying nothing. It is got purple and then turquoise blue at the bottom. And it kind of blends together. And it's got a coaster underneath with some weird symbols and there's another coaster to the left a little bit further back and there's some red and some black and some white a little bit back in the back and it is a definite crop job <laughs> the weird symbols on the coasters are meant to be writing in some sort of very foreign language yes any idea brenda i think it's some concoction at Oga's cantina it that is, is exactly, exactly what right. it is. It is. <laughs> what is it? What drink was that, Sophie? That was your. That was drink, the right? carbon freeze. No, mine oh. was the hyperdrive. Oh, is that the one I got? Yeah, that's the one you got. Mine it was, was orange and yellow and had these different colored boba pearls in it. Mm -hmm. Like my Oga's obsession. Those things are so good. Yeah. I, I <laughs> definitely did not. Pick Oga's obsession um, in the picture because that would have been like even easier than this yeah. one was. <laughs> yeah, really, this one I would have had no idea about the drink. Just the coaster looked like it's at Oga's. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the idea I was going for was Oga's. So, all right, we have a ceiling fixture that is yellowish in color, kind of like a warm light. It's got some sort of lattice work around the side. It's got ceiling above it. You got something below. You got some reds and blacks. There's a oh. hidden Mickey in the There's, ceiling fixture. There is a hidden Mickey. So I bet Sophie already knows this one. Do you have any idea? Oh, oh I know, you know what, what it is, is, Sophie. I do. I'm playing the game. Oh. Do you know what it is, Brenda? I my first thought was a lamp in the Animal Kingdom Lodge. No, that is a good guess. That's a good guess, though, because of the the wood feel and the, uh -huh. the warm lighting and all that. Yeah. Um, Where is it? That is in the revamped Chinese theater that holds Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. That's exactly oh, where that wow. is. Wow, I would have never guessed that. That's awesome. <laughs> And now I have one last. We're on our last one already. Oh, wow. So Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This is a whole bunch of carbs. 
It sure is. <laughs> we got some mac and cheese. We got some mashed potatoes. We got some oh, corn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dad. Mm. And it looks delicious, too, by the way. <laughs> and there is a table underneath. It's a white plate, black bowl for the mac and cheese, a scoop of mashed potatoes, a serving of corn, and there is a table with some squiggly lines on it. Kind of reminds me of the 1950s. <laughs> yeah, no. How are we going to give it away while giving it away? <laughs> I plead the fifth. You got to go ahead and say it, Sophie. <laughs> that is something that I ate. At 50s Primetime Cafe during one of our trips. Nice. (laughs) Dad called you out. Listen, that mac and cheese is is absolutely delicious. How can I not have it? It looks incredible. And it was exactly exactly the right portion size for me. So there you went. So there you go. You're ready to go marathon after that. Exactly. Carb up <laughs> and run a race. That's right. That was a quick 10 pictures, wasn't it? That was fun. It was fun. It was fun. I'm sorry if I made it too fast. No, nah, I think it's that all people good. need to uh, watch us on YouTube, though, so they can actually see the pictures. Just go oh, to yeah. YouTube on the road with Mickey. Yeah. But you can see too. And yeah, submit your pictures and see if we can see if the community can guess. Yeah. Um, I need to step aside for a moment. I'm going to pause and turn off my screen. Sophie and Brenda, you continue on because that was our feature topic. All, All right. right. Now it's time for a little history. It is. All right, then. Well, while Daddy's off doing something or whatever, we'll see him soon. He's taking a little detour. I am going to take us through this day in Disney history for May 6th. And I am taking us back to the year of 1988. Epcot at this point has been open for seven years, I believe, 1981. 82. 82, so six years. And this is just around the point where World Showcase is starting to open. We have the Mexico Pavilion already, and now it's time for the second pavilion, Norway, to open, and that is what happened on this day. It is opening a soft opening. It doesn't have a great big ceremony, but with its opening, we'll be adding a new original, well, um, sorry, a new original roller coaster, as well as a few other things. Um, The pavilion includes the Fjording Shop, Puffin's Roost Shop, Kringla Bakery Oak Cafe Restaurant, and the restaurant Akershus. The pavilion is a replica of a medieval wooden church, specifically to the Old Norse gods, and will be officially dedicated in July The original ride that I was talking about is no longer there. However, it is near and dear to my heart, and it was a boat attraction called Maelstrom. And it would set sail July 5th of 1988. Yes. Nice. And I'm back. Yay. I needed to step aside because my mom called twice in a row. Uh Oh, Oh, yes. That that is me, Ma. Me, Ma is fine, and she said that she accidentally dialed me twice okay. in a row, and there's oh. nothing wrong so okay i will call her back and we were recording on an anniversary date because mm-hmm. today is may 1st 35th anniversary of hollywood studios Yay. so congratulations and the 60th anniversary of the wedding of my mom and dad Yay, happy anniversary, happy anniversary so, Mima. So Yay. I will call back and we will talk and I will wish them a happy anniversary properly. Mm-hmm. Um, but everything is fine. And the other thing I wanted to add, based on Sophie's history of Maelstrom, 
is that that was the very first ride that Sophie and her aunt Brenda rode together. That's right. You're right. Yep. So that is first. another another reason to really like that ride. Yep. Little bitty tiny itty bitty Sophie. Mm. Yeah. She was she 10 was years bitty. old. 10. 2000. No. 2010 was it? So nine. Nine. Yeah. Nine or ten, depending on what time of year. No, it was right. been 2011 was when we went. Mm-hmm. And that was 2011. So you were wow. ten. Okay, so ten or eleven. Because so we cute. were at we were at World Showcase the day before the 40th anniversary. Right. Mm-hmm. And that was the opening day for the Flower and Garden Festival. And that's when we met Brenda and Susan. Yep. September 30th. September 30th, 2011. My bestie Susan was with me on on the 40th anniversary trip. We had so much fun. Oh, we had so much fun. Yep. All right. So that's a great memory. A great trip down memory lane. Great. Yay. Thank you, Sophie. All right. Thank you. Let's see if I can stump the Sophie. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you can try Exactly <laughs> Yo, Oh my gosh They've got me <laughs> Mainly so, they've got my mannerisms Okay Sophie Here is a big time clue <laughs> This is a pair of characters Okay That are The Owners of a bumper ointment. Rusties. That's the name of the thing. Now I just need to remember their names. Yeah, that's where I thought you might have some trouble is their names. It's from Cars. Yes, it is. And they are. They are the proud 10-year sponsors of who? Lightning McQueen. Okay. Mm. And they are a team of brothers. I can't remember their names, though. I That might be... I might give you half credit or three-quarters credit because you know all this. <laughs> exactly. Except for the names. Yeah, what let's go ahead. With? And are, they, are their cars rusted out? Their cars actually aren't rusted out. They are, actually. Oh. Well, not nearly as bad as some of their um, customers. That's true. Not nearly as some of their their Like families. Fred. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Their names are Dusty, who's a Dodge. And, and Rusty. Rusty. Dusty and Rusty. That's right. Ah, oh, very good. <laughs> Here's a picture of them. Very good. Dusty and Rusty. <laughs> See all that falling off dust? Is that rust? Yeah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Dusty and Rusty Rusties. Very good, Sophie. Thank yeah. you. I'll take half she knew credit an awful for lot. that. She knew an awful lot. She yeah. did. I'll take half credit. Okay. Well, I'll give you, it doesn't matter anyway. We're not keeping score. (laughs) (laughs) Dusty and Rusty from Cars. Very good. All right. Well, how long have we been recording? I don't know. Just about 30 minutes, maybe? Yeah. So it's kind of a quick show. But we're not done yet because we've got to have a little bit of Walt, don't we, Brenda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we always have to have a little bit of Walt around here. Exactly. (laughs) Physically, Disneyland would be a small world in itself. It would encompass the essence of the things that were good and true in American life. It would reflect the faith and challenge of the future, the entertainment, the interest in intelligently presented facts, the stimulation of imagination, the standards of health and achievement, and above all, a sense of strength, contentment, and well-being. 
Walt Disney. Walt Disney. Yep. The man. Yeah. The man. Yeah, and it was and it is a small world in itself. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, one thing that that Walt really did not like was seeing his guests that were at the park looking because they could see the traffic was backing up on the interstate uh-huh. and saying, we got to get going because he wanted them to be in that world and not to worry about the outside world. That that's was the right. goal. And that's why Walt Disney world is so expansive because of that. That's right. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, that, uh, gosh, we love the man. We love the man. Yeah. Yep. And we give thanks for him. That's for sure. All right. Well, All right. That wraps us up for this week, guys. Good job, everybody. You two Thank just you. rocked it. You you really did. You got some, Brenda. <laughs> Sophie got some. And I stumped the the team once. Once. Rogu, <laughs> Rogu said he knew it was spaceship Earth, but no one would listen to him. Yeah. He knew yeah. Ogas though. He whispered that to Oh Sophie. yeah. He knew Ogas. He knew oh, Ogas. He and I both knew Ogas immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what we'll do this down the road a little bit and sophie's gonna take some really cool pictures in her mm-hmm. june trip and Yay. stump us i already have, I won't some. have a clue i probably won't have a clue i already have some cool pictures but i do want to get more so that we can maybe make this longer well i think 10 is a good number and brenda's yeah. gonna do that Somehow she's going to get Butch to take some photos, probably. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you're like, you're, you got a job, honey. Here it is. He has to earn his keep. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I mean, you're taking him on a trip, so he's got to earn. He's got to do some chores. Mm-hmm. He's got to record things. <laughs> yeah, he's good at that. But That'll next week, next week, I got a... a, a Topic that I think is right up Sophie's alley, and I oh. want us, I want us all to kind of think about it. So, if you could be working at Disney right now, tomorrow you get hired, what would your dream Disney job be? Ooh, wow! What would it be, Brenda? What know. would it be, Mike? What would it be, Sophie? What would it be, Grogu? <laughs> Grogu knows. He's already told me what his would be. He would be, he would be the one who would take out Kylo Ren in Batu. He would have his own lightsaber, and he would be like, "I'm using the Force on you, bro." Yeah, yeah, I no. see you. He'd be like, "I'm watching you." <laughs> no. He'd be a macaroon <laughs> taster. <laughs> hey, Grogu that is good. first and foremost. Grogu is a Mandalorian. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yes. But anyway, let's, let's not we need to that. answer our questions on what we oh, would be. Yeah. So that's the topic next week. Mm-hmm. Put your thinking caps on. I know, because that's worldwide open right there. It, it is wide open. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do oh, we geez, have any stipulations? Like, do we have to actually be capable of doing the job right now? Or is it a dream? Well, it says dream Disney job. Um, I think the only stipulation I would say is it has to be a job that is offered, you know? I mean, I couldn't, like, take Bob Iger's place or something. You couldn't what? Oh, take Bob, Bob, Iger's, Bob place? Iger's place. I don't know. I feel like I that's know. an actual. I feel like it has it's to be an actual job. Would that be a dream, title. though, of yours to to be that person? It was just an example. Okay. Because I'm I'm definitely not qualified for Mm-mm. for that, but I feel like as long as it's an actual job title that Disney lists, and for the most part, we should be able to just be like, okay, I want to be a um, I want to be a pastry chef in the Main Street Bakery. That is definitely an actual That's job. Definitely, yeah. So, yeah. And I kind of was thinking it would be something in the parks, but mm-hmm. in the parks, okay. You know, okay. it doesn't have to be though. That's where my brain is going, but that doesn't mean that's. I mean, your dream Disney job may not be in the parks. Yeah. 
I don't know. You know? I got to really think about it because I have to choose one. That's yeah, that's yeah, the hard. That's part. hard. <laughs> oh yeah. So. So anyway, that is the topic for next week, guys. Yay! And if okay. you know, if one of y'all wanted to choose an operator on Astro Orbiter, hey, go right ahead. I won't be choosing. Brenda that. said that she wanted to be the Astro Orbiter operator. Actually, she didn't want to be the operator. She wanted to be the test subject. No. She no, wants no. to do all the testing, the ride <laughs> testing on Astro Orbiter. I know that my mom wants to um, work with the giraffes in Animal Kingdom. Sweet. That's she also sweet. wants to be a character. She's tall she's, enough to be she's Daisy. She's too isn't tall. She? She's too tall to be Daisy. Oh, oh really? she's tall enough to be one of the dwarves. She's, she's tall enough to be Chip or Dale. Oh, oh. nice. But she's too tall to be Daisy. I Which, wonder if uh, Sophie that's kind will of be... impressive for Cindy because she's not very tall. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Sophie will be a pastry chef or if she will be at the Haunted Mansion somewhere. Or maybe she'll, maybe she'll be like me. You know, when I was, when we were there for Halloween party and I was a Jungle Cruise skipper Mm -hmm. and everyone said, how did you get off of work? Because they were playing along with the gag. Yeah. Uh, But a lot of them told me that they actually worked the Jungle Cruise too and they were over at Pirates. So, oh. so they got sent around to different bride places, and so maybe it's, that that makes so sense. So it's not it's out of the realm that Sophie could be a pastry chef in the morning, and a haunted mansion doom buggy loader in the evening or whatever. Yeah, because you know? casts change roles all the time. Yeah, that's right. So, oh, that's interesting. So that's Just very interesting things to think about. But anyway. We hope you all have enjoyed our show. We hope you've had a great time listening and you have a great week ahead. And I am Mike. She's Sophie. That's Brenda. And closing us out is Rockstar Grogu. (laughs) And we will see see you on the road. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.